Good morning or evening, friends. Oof. Yo, your boy feels like poo today. Ugh, it's been a rough day. Not feeling particularly well, but I had to bring this momentous occasion to you. We have the opportunity of reaching our goal. Now, again, our goal was to make sure that we reached, um, oh, sorry, we reached silver by the end of this month. This is May of 2018. And we took a character that was brand spanking new in Falk and tried to learn the ins and outs of her. Not just brand new, but a character that many people will tell you is not a good character. I still think she's all right. By the way, I did not uh, know Karen's V-Trigger 2 and goodness, that's so good. It's so good. Oh, oh, girl. Come on, girl, what you want? <gasps> Either way, this is our opportunity to break into the silver ranks. This entire video is about trying to, about silver. Let's say that we try our best to get to that silver rankage, and we'll have at least one opportunity to get there. Mm, mm, mm. I really should have done the uh, standing heavy, the uh, standing roundhouse. Again, that's a very smart move uh, when you catch somebody trying to DP, because you get your crush counter and then you can do your base. I mean, you can do any combo you want to after that. Why not have that extra damage on top of it? <sighs> Thought he was going for the throw, but no throw. Doing a pretty good job of keeping pressure on my opponent. Um, I'm also doing a pretty good job of disrupting his attacks. I kind of know how Karen attacks. Um, so once you kind of get that in your head, it becomes a little easier to fight her, but you do have to be careful because Karen has a lot of tricks. And just when you think you're ahead, dude, V-Trigger and you're done. It wasn't a great jump in. Ooh, but that's a great EX Schneider. Like I said, man, Invincible DP saves lives out here. Uh, I'm watching this after just watching a... Uh, ooh, ooh, that's good confirm. Uh, just watching the latest episode of the Street Fighter Contenders E-League uh, show. That was really neat. I was really rooting for uh, Sherry, Nick, Sherry Jenix and uh, Dayasha to do a little bit better. But it is what it is. I actually think I played against Low Tier God the other day and got scraped, but I can't remember to be sure if it was his account or not. I don't think it was on any, anybody's stream or anything. Either way, it's good to know I still got work to do. But we got the win here. We got the win here. And that should get us a little further up the ladder. See how close we are now. <gasps> Yo, we could do it. We could do it. All we gotta do is take care of Karen right here, and we can get to our coveted title. That is what we're looking for. So this is a tense match, and the best thing about a tense match is that uh, it teaches you who you are as a fighter. Because, I mean, everybody has a little adrenaline going, but you got to be able to push down any butterflies and make sure you're still making smart decisions. And right now, I'm making pretty smart decisions. I was thinking he'd block, but he didn't. Right when I was saying I was being smart. Oh, okay. Karen's getting her pressure going. Karen's getting her pressure going. All right, at this point, the goal's got to be not to let her come back. Ugh. It's okay though. She ain't coming back. Do you hear me? She is not coming back. Oh, uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, he doesn't have three bars though. So it's going to be a little difficult for. Ah! Oh no! Oh, it's trouble. Okay. Whew. Oh, that would have been embarrassing. <laughs> that would have been the worst ever. That's cool though. We can still win that round. That's nice. And hopefully, a win that close takes the heart from him. If we can rip the heart out of him, then ah, I really need to do better about that. When I stick that out, I really need to start covering my um, my two punch buttons. I said I do that when the standing when I do standing jab, but I need to do that with standing uh round or not short forward. Sorry, standard forward as well. 
Standing forward does get you get those if you're not too far away. And nine times out of 10, even though I use standing forward as a poke maneuver, um, they're usually close enough to where I can get at least one hit from Schneider if I do it. Definitely one hit of EX Schneider, but I don't want to burn that bar unless I absolutely have to. I like that one piece of bar more for the invincibility that it grants than for the extra hit or extra damage. Uh oh, messed up my angle. Mmm, can't jump in. I've been trying to teach you that all game. Looking good. Looking good. Looking real good. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, we did it. You and I did it. Thank you for joining me on this journey. We did it, baby. Let me see it. Let me see that bling bling. Every time I come under, you'll see that bling bling. Woo! I want to thank my mom. I want to thank God. Yes! Yes! But we don't quit. We keep getting better. That is the goal because we want to be like Ryu, like Ryu, and defend it. Because the, the answer lies in the heart of battle, baby. It ain't over though. That's good though. Uh, it's always nice to have a goal and set it. I tried to make sure that I set a goal that I could obtain. I was pretty sure I could get to silver. Um, hearing a lot about Falk, I kind of felt like it may be difficult. But, I mean, the more you play her, just the more you kind of understand where her weaknesses are. And you can figure out ways to win. Not to mention, there's a lot of people in Super Bronze and Ultra Bronze who <laughs> honestly don't need to be there. Myself included, nine times out of ten. And so you can usually scale upwards pretty easy. Um, if, when you start getting down to Bronze, I mean, you can get out of that fighting rookies. I don't like fighting rookies, but, you know, it is what it is. Keeping pressure on him. Uh, but playing this match, what I am seeing is a really good difference between the bronze that I've been playing and the silver that are currently here. Now this guy, I want to say is on the cusp. I couldn't remember what his uh, points are. Uh, but as you see, he takes very good advantage of his opportunities. If he has a hit, He's following it with a combo for damage. It may not get... Ah, see? I messed that up. Um, it may not get him the max damage. It may not give him... Um, you know, a hard knockdown or anything like that. But he is making sure that he is getting some extra damage off of every hit. And that's something that's very important. I think that's very good. You don't want a bunch of wayward hits. Uh, unless you're just poking. What you really want is to show that you can do really good damage. Ah, uh, that should have been game. I should have just tapped it twice. Um, but I think that's going to be the difference between playing bronze and playing silver. You're starting to get players who have been playing Street Fighter for a little longer. And because they've been playing Street Fighter for a little longer, they recognize opportunity a little bit better. And that's very important. Because if you start taking advantage of your opportunities, you start advancing. And that's not just a Street Fighter tip, that's life. People always consider certain people lucky, certain people get all the breaks, so on and so forth. But an opportunity comes around for everybody. The point of the opportunity is to see how ready you are for it. When you have the opportunity to advance on something, you got to take initiative and you got to go do it. And... In Street Fighter, it's the same way. You get a hit on something that can combo, you need to be comboing it. Why? That gives you closer to your goal. Your goal is to knock the opponent out. That gets you one step closer to your goal. Now, I'm going to have to learn my pokes a little bit better, and stuff like that can't fly. I can't be letting them get any jump-ins. No jump-ins. I need to be treating... And that's part of the problem. I treat him like a silver, so I know he's smarter than some of the things he does. So when he jumps at perfect range for me, and the perfect angle for me, instead of doing the anti-air that I've trained myself to do, I figure he's got some grand scheme. Because I'm not playing bronze, and I'm not playing rookie. So I figure that there 
that the uh, actions that are taken are a little more calculated and a little um, like he wouldn't leave himself open for no reason. But it doesn't matter what he would do or how smart he is. What matters is the opportunity he presented itself. If he gives you an opportunity, take it. Like I said a long time ago, a couple videos back, if somebody gives you the chance to win the round, go ahead and win the round. There's no need to get fancy. There's no need. To, I mean, if you're trying to troll, then troll. If you're trying to practice on something, then practice on something. That's fine. But if what you're trying to do is actually win, uh, go up the ladder, become a better player, that type of thing, take your opportunity to do that. When your opponent quits out and you know they quit out, you've given them the opportunity to get back in the game and they just haven't done it, that's fine. Go over to your opponent, practice some of your combos and your hit confirms. Ah, man, that could have been the round if I had one more bar. But yeah, practice to make yourself ready for every opportunity that may come. I actually really like this because, uh, look at that. <laughs> His defense was on point right there. Like, he, he was ready for pretty much everything I had going. And he got that really nice parry that led him into victory. Um, kind of scrambling. I lost my silver already. But if I beat him, if I can win this match, oh, it's going to skyrocket me. And I'm going to be pretty safe at silver. Um, going to have to do more than I'm doing, though. Notice his spacing. Notice his movement. He's doing a very good job of staying at a good poke range. Um, I have to be better about hitting the things I'm doing. Uh, right there, I should have gone to V skill instead of going into the Schneider. But I have to be better about taking advantage of some of the spacing and some of his actions. There you go. Like that. Yeah. I don't know why I backed up and took the pressure off of him like that, though. But look at that. That was well executed. After I started kind of checking his spacing and seeing what I could do, very well executed. Waiting for the jump in. Didn't follow that up with any damage. Again, I to be better at silver... And he did that a lot. He, he dashed in through a lot. And I, I saw it coming and still did nothing about it. Missed my link right there. That's fine. You'll miss combo. Like, you don't want to drop combos. Clearly, it's not ideal. But, I mean, if you miss them, short memory, keep going. Keep playing. Nice. Not so nice. Again, opportunity for good damage. Lost it. And, I'm pretty sure I have a three bar right there not v not v trigger but i had three bars so i could have gotten a um a ultra combo off of that or a super combo after that so i basically lost myself that game um and that happens sometimes you don't win always sometimes your opponent just wins he gets the better of you and if he does shake it off and keep going hats off to him knocks me out of silver after i worked so hard i, I think i'm gonna go cry i, I'm, I think i'm done until the next one, we don't give up that easy, baby. And we're going to fight Akuma. Power of that dark hotto driving me back towards silver. This is my second chance at silver in this video. I apologize. I'm trying not to eat or drink or anything like that. But I really don't feel well and I need the water. So <laughs> You're going to get some of that water today. Um, this was after that loss. I knew I was I, I, I'd lost what I you know I'd lost my silver ranking and this was my opportunity to get back to it so I have to beat Akuma now I should have known that was coming I kind of pressured him on every wake up he had and he was close to stun best thing he could do was have something really high priority just like he should have known that was coming but he didn't Either way, we're doing a pretty good job keeping pressure on him, getting slapped in the face and hit with a fireball. That that wasn't a good job. Um, not punishing the demon flips as well as I should, but I'm not really ready for them when they're coming out right now. I'll get there. Is he teabagging me? <laughs> Don't you teabag me, son? Not punishing, see? Oh, 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 oh. That stinks. Up in there. Oh, missed it. Oh, Sookie, we got a chance. We got a chance, baby. Uh oh. That didn't go quite as well as I'd hoped. 
Not quite as well as I hope, but it's okay. We are still doing fine. We can still win this. Just gotta take our time. Akuma's doing a pretty good job of keeping pressure. That's his game. Uh, Akuma, if you don't know much about fighting games or video games in general, Akuma is what you typically call a glass cannon. Um, by glass cannon, that essentially means he can't really take a hit, but man, don't let him hit you. <laughs> Do not let him hit you because he has all the damage and he has all the combos and he has all the opportunity in the world to put you in a grave. So, got to be careful fighting Akuma. That being said, once you get an advantage, you have to press your advantage. If you keep on pressing your advantage, um, he's going to have to start blocking because he has such low stamina as in health and such low stun. So, it doesn't take that much to get him in a, a difficult state. So you have to take him out of his offense and make him play defense. If you can make Akuma be a little more defensive instead of just playing his game, you have a much better chance of coming away with the victory in that match. Now, I don't know if that's what I'm going to do here, but we'll see. That was actually really good of him. I was thinking he was going to do it again there, so I was going to empty jump, but it didn't work. Trying to play the spacing game. I'm a little too far back. Um... That worked out pretty well. That worked out very well, considering. <laughs> um, I want to make sure that I'm in pretty good space. Didn't capitalize there. Did, did my Schneider a little too early. That worked out pretty well, though. Yeah, yeah. That, that cross under right there, people that, that gets people a lot. Because it's really difficult to see if you're not used to it. And her walk speed seems so slow that it's almost ambiguous when she comes down. But that cross under is nice. I gotta kind of do more practice with it to make sure, if nothing else, I know what side I'm on and how I can keep to one side or the other. Because if I can turn it into a 50-50 for them, but I know the answer, that becomes a little, that, that becomes better for me. Then I can set people up. Uh-huh. We're close to getting back to silver. This would do it for us. But again, we gotta press the advantage. Can't let Akuma get comfortable and play his own game. Right now, I've stopped his air attacks. That's very beneficial. Schneider works out really well. Don't jump again. Oh! Oh! I thought that was it, y'all. I'm not gonna lie, I thought that was it. Ah, oh, that EX. I forgot all about his EX. And, because I uh, burned my meter to do that, it puts me at a disadvantage in this third round. Because he's got at least one bar, I got nothing. I have no resources coming into this last round. So I have to kind of play on point. Got the pressure going? Ah, I jumped too early. That was me trying to read him as opposed to uh, reacting what he's got, to, got for me. He timed his throw a little early. That's it, baby. We back at silver. So the next time you see me, I'm going to be silver ranked once again. Do my best to kind of keep that there. We're going to try to go further. I don't know what the goal is we're going to set for July or June, but we'll get there. Either way, I really do appreciate you guys sticking with me. Thanks for going on this journey with me. Give me a thumbs up for that silver, baby. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out.